Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Peter Chung and in this video, this module, in this lesson, you're going to learn about everything that has to deal with Facebook pixels. Okay, and this is a very, very important step in, in, for your ad setup. Okay, in order to advertise, you need to set up your pixels in order to be able to track your results. Okay, without tracking, you're basically going to be shooting blind and you won't know where you should be investing money into and where you should be pulling out of. Okay, but once you get through with this tutorial, you're gonna have everything set. It's gonna run smoothly for you. So I'm just gonna run it through with you very quickly, okay? Now, in order to get your pixels, okay, let, let me just start off with what a Facebook pixel is. A pixel is basically just a little small image, okay? It's a little small image, and you're gonna basically place it on your website, your store, so that every time a visitor comes to your site, the pixel is going to fire, okay? The image is going to basically uh, pop up, okay? When somebody visits your site, all right, the image is going to pop up, all right? So the pixel fires and it sends information to Facebook, okay? This is how Facebook's going to be able to track, you know, people that come to your site, all right? People that actually view one of your pages, as you see here, uh, people that actually view the content, the products that you have set up on your store. All right, visitors that actually come and add products to the cart, and then customers that come and actually make a purchase. All right, so Facebook's going to allow you to track all of these stages. All right, and this is going to be very, very useful for you. Once you start advertising, you're gonna you're gonna start to look at your statistics and know exactly what is working for you and what is not working for you. All right, this is how you're going to save money and how you're going to really be able to optimize and be able to uh, uh, really just uh, get the highest ROI from your investments. Okay, so I'm just going to go through really quickly in terms of how you do that. And you're going to start with going into your Facebook ads manager and click on tools and click on pixels. Okay, and you're going to land right here. All right, now you're going to go to actions. And if you haven't set up your pixel yet, there should be an option here to say set up pixel and it's just very simple the instructions are given and I want you to set that up once you got that set up you're just gonna click on view pixel code okay so as you see here this is your pixel code everybody has one set pixel code alright and as you see in the instructions here it says copy the code below and paste it between the head and the head in your website code okay these are HTML codes and it might sound a little hectic right now but don't worry it's very simple okay so they want you to basically copy and paste this code in between the HTML head tags all right the pixel will track visits to every page of your website all right and with Shopify you only have to place this in one place, in one place, and it will automatically track every single page that a visitor lands on. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to copy this pixel code, all right, and I already have it pasted here, so you want to paste it. Okay, everyone's uh, pixel code is going to be the same except for their Facebook ID number. Okay, it, the Facebook ID number comes out here and it comes out here, so two times within your Facebook pixel code. All right. Now, there's a couple other things that you're going to want to copy over as well. Like I said before, we're going to track visitors that, you know, view your page, view the contents of your product, add to cart and make a purchase, okay? Now, in order to track that, you need to actually get this event code, okay? Event code. This is for the conversion tracking. It says you can also add events to track specific actions. Copy the code for the event that you want to track and paste it after the pixel code on the web pages where you want to track the action. Keep in mind, standard event codes are case sensitive. Okay, so you only need to really track these few that I'm going to uh, lay out here in this video. Okay, so all you need to do is copy what I do, learn and uh, apply. Okay, and I'm going to make it very simple for you guys. So the first one we're going to want is the view content. All right, it says it tracks key page views, product page, landing page, or article. 
All right, so we're going to copy that, okay, and paste it over here, okay. Uh, we're going to want the add to cart, okay, track when items are added to a shopping cart. We definitely want to know how many people are adding our products to their cart. All right, so we're going to copy that over, and then we're going to need one more, okay. One more, and it's going to be the purchase, okay. You, we want to be able to track purchases or checkout flow completions, right? We want to know when people are actually purchasing the products that we have on our store. So what you want to do is you want to copy that and paste it here, okay? Now for this one, uh, there's a very specific code, okay? There's a very specific code. All right, so let, let me bring this over to you, okay? Now I, I, I copied and pasted the pixel code here. Okay, I copied and pasted the view content event code, the add to cart event code, and then the purchase. Okay, now for the purchase, there's a specific alteration. Okay, that that's uh, made for Shopify. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna present that to you once we get there. Okay, so you're gonna have that. So don't worry, this one's gonna be edited, and you'll have access to exactly that. Now. Where do you paste these? Where do you paste these? You got to pay attention, okay? Make sure you copy exactly what I do. So after you get your Facebook pixel code, we're going to go back to your Shopify store, okay? And everything here, all right? You're probably going to be using here, this. You click here and go to edit HTML, okay? And this is under themes, guys, okay? This is under themes. So you're going to obviously go to your online store, click on themes. Okay, you should already have your theme set up. And uh, this is one of my students page and I'm just going to do it for him here. So you're going to click on the three dots, go to edit HTML. Okay, and it's going to come up with all of these pages of your theme. Okay, now don't look at it as being complicated at all. It's very simple. Okay, what I want you to do is theme.liquid page. All right, when you click on it, you're going to see all of this HTML. This is HTML coding, okay? And what we're going to do is copy this, and like Facebook told us, we're going to put it in between the head tags, okay? Right here, as you see, okay? It's right at the top of theme.liquid. You click on the head tag, all right? And so we want to get it before it ends the head tag here. So I'm going to press enter from here. All right, and we want to put it inside the head tag. So I'm going to paste our pixel code right there. Okay, so now our pixel code is in between the head tags. All right, when there's a little backslash head, that's where the head ends. Okay, starts here and ends there. All we need to do is put in the Facebook pixel code right here. Boom, and click save. Okay. As it saves successfully, and then that's done. We're done. All right. This is going to track all of the people that come and visit any of your pages on your store. All right. What's next? Now we need to get into the view content. For the view content, okay, we're going to paste that event code in product.liquid. Okay. No matter what theme you use or have on your site. All right, there's going to be a product.liquid page. So I want you to click on product.liquid. And for this code, you want to paste it all the way at the bottom. Okay, all the way at the bottom and in between the scripts. Okay, in between the script codes, just like the one before, in between the head codes. This is for the script. If your theme does not have any script codes there, then you want to put in your you want to edit it and put it in there okay so for example if there was no script tag here all i would do is do the caret script i'll paste my code in and then i would close the script okay the backslash and close it okay but this theme that i'm using all right i'm using the venture theme Okay, it already has a script coding here. So what I want to do is just paste this view content event code within the scripts. Okay, and once again, click on save as it saves successfully. 
All right. The next one, same thing, add to cart. All right. We want to track add to carts. For this one, you're going to want to go into cart.liquid. All right. Everything, once again, has a cart.liquid. And this is the same situation. Go to the way bottom. All right. And you want to place it in between the scripts. This one already has scripts. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay. All right. Okay. So paste it right there. All right. Save. This is going to ask it save successfully. All right. We're done with that. Okay. Now the last one, all right, the last one is for the purchases. This is where it gets a little bit, a little bit more, I don't want to say complicated, but because uh, basically I'm going to give you the codes, okay? I'm going to give you the codes, um, but you got to place this one in a different location, all right? And for this code, I told you, the purchase, you see here where I bolded, this is an alteration of the purchase event code, all right? This is specific to Shopify. Okay, and, and it's basically gonna just calculate your product's item price. Okay, so whenever someone makes a purchase, Facebook's gonna be able to uh, actually track those statistics for you. All right, if you have a $19.95 product and it sells, then Facebook's gonna show you one purchase made at the purchase value of $19.95. Okay, and this, this coding right here is gonna do all of that for you automatically. Okay, and I'm gonna give that to you guys, so don't worry. Okay, so for the purchase pixel code, we're going to want to copy this code. Go back onto your Shopify back office. Okay, and this one is not within the themes. All right, we're done with the themes. We put it in, we put one code into theme. All right, we put one code into product and we put one code into cart. Now we can move on. I want you to go on settings, go to checkouts. Okay, the purchase pixel goes into the checkout section all right makes sense right you purchase and you check out all right you're going to scroll down and where it says additional content in scripts here all right you're going to want to paste it in here okay and you could click on this corner and drag it down if you want and shape it okay but boom copy paste that's it all right everything is done for you i already did all the coding for you so all you need to do is copy and paste it into the additional content in scripts. Uh, all right, done. Let's click on save. Do, 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 do. All right, your settings have been saved successfully. Okay, now you should be all complete now. All of your pixels are set in place. Okay, so it should be able to track exactly when customers come to your site. Okay. So it's going to be able to track your people who come to, to view your content, people who come and add to the cart, people who make purchases, okay? And it's going to show you the purchase value here, all right? So if there's one purchase for $19.95, it'll say one here, and it'll say $19.95 for the value, purchase value right there, okay? So this is just a uh, quick example for you guys, all right? I, I just went through it step by step. I just need you guys to follow exactly through that, okay? And uh, if you didn't watch the video yet in terms of how to actually get your columns set up for those specific statistics, then uh, I suggest you refer back to the video or if it's on the next video, okay? All right, so this is how you set your pixels. You should be all set and ready to go, okay? All right, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.